Emerald Elderly Care and Development Foundation, an NGO, has called for prompt payment of pensioners' entitlements and provision of adequate care for the elderly in Nigeria. Dr. Becky Ogonaya, founder of the organization, made the call at the 2022 Emerald Senior Citizens Conference in Abuja. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that the event, tagged Rising to the Challenge, Empowering the Use of Technology, featured free medical checkup and disbursement of loan support to the elderly. According to her, the aim of the conference is to promote the well-being of Nigeria's aging population who have been neglected for too long. This conference is to sensitize the senior citizens you know, on, and to also advocate for their well-being. They have been neglected in the past and that is why we, what we are advocating for their well-being medically and otherwise. We have taken the first step, which is approaching the Senior Citizens Commission, because Mr. President has just, um, you know, introduced that, you know, and we are grateful to him, and we congratulate the new DG, and we are bringing the campaign to their domain by first registering with them, and also taking the, you know, the needs to of the senior citizens to them. So we are partnering with them. We're trying to bridge the gap between the senior citizens and the government. In her remarks, Dr. Ememo Mokaro, Director General of NSCC, who was represented by Mr. Omini Oden, Head, Corporate Affairs, Media and Communications, called on Nigerians to desist from labeling older persons with derogatory names. The National Senior Citizen Center is an agency of government under the Federal Minister of uh, Nigerian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. NSCC is doing a lot towards this direction as we speak. Uh, we are partnering with all MDAs at the federal and state levels to ensure that this, sti this stigma, this ageism, this uh, discrimination is eroded as soon as possible. We have a partnership with NAPTIC, and as we speak, uh, if you go to NAPTIC, there are call lines that you ensure that people who are violated are reported. We are also doing a lot of sensitization programs to members of the public to know that someone who has dementia is not a witch. So dementia is not a witch. So having dementia is not a witch. It's just it, what we just see is a stereotype, it's ageism, and these are some of the uh, awareness patient programs we are doing to let the public know that when you find an older person straying away, it has this memory, assist that person. Similarly, Mrs. Hadiza Abdullahi, president of NCWS FCT chapter, called on government on all levels to change the narrative of delay in payment of pensions in the country. The greatest challenge, number one, as all we know, is economic failure, which is financial problem. The senior citizens, after finishing 35 years in government service, getting their pensions and other benefits at times is a serious thing. You might have finished your service for six months, one year, if not gotten your benefits. So it's a challenge. Where do you start? Especially that teacher that has nothing to get to take back home. How do you eat the chalk? Or is it the pen you want to give back to your family? We want to beg, use this media to tell the FCT government to please change the narrative of pension in FCT. When you are finishing your 35 years, go along to one month, get what is made for you. And the pension, with due respect, I want to say this to the federal government of Nigeria, that the pensions that, our, um, that people are taking back as well, uh, take, home, take home is nothing to write home about, particularly the time we find ourselves. After spending 35 years, you are going home with 1.5 to start with and half. So please want to beg on behalf of the all elderly citizens yet coming and those on the line that the pension of Nigeria should be looking into.